Hey there, I'm Karen Lang and I'm going to lead you today through creating a green tracking app. So uh, say someone wants to try to be more green in their life, so we're going to give them some activities they can check off and I'm going to keep track of how many times they do that over a course of days. The main thing about this app is that we're going to be storing information on the user's mobile device. So in this case, how many times are they being green We'll store that information and update it over the course of days. So it's going to be retrieving it each time they run the app. Let's go ahead and start it. Uh, so we're going to call it Green Tracker. And we'll start off with the label at the top. And I'm just going to put in here something like uh, check off how you've been green today. And we can just do some changes for font uh, and color. And the next thing we're going to do is add some checkboxes that they can check off. So we'll just search for that. I'm going to add three. You can certainly add as many as you want in this. This is just to to demonstrate how it's going to work. So um, these are a little tricky to just get lined up Whoop. and to resize. Uh, so let's see, these are 24. So let's just make sure they're all the same size. So 24. Okay. So those would be the three checkboxes. And um, then I'm going to add labels next to them to describe what they're about. So I've got three labels. I'm just going to make them bigger. And let's describe what these checkboxes are about. So the first one's going to be about eating plant-based food. walked or biked instead of drove, and uh, used a reusable bag shopping. Okay, I think that looks fine. You can certainly play with how it looks. I'm going to just web preview it to see that everything looks okay, and it does. So let's rename our checkboxes because those it's important to know which is which, so I'm going to rename each of them. So this one's going to be plant-based food checkbox. I'll name this walked bike checkbox. And this one I'll call reusable bag checkbox. Oh, and then the last thing we're going to need is a button down here. And this button, let's make it big. This will say submit. I'll go make this green as well. Let's rename this submit button. Okay, so again, let's just do a quick web preview. That all looks good. So what's going to happen? when they actually check the boxes. They're going to check them, hit submit, and then we're going to track how many times they've done that. So let's go to blocks. Now to keep track of this, we're going to create some variables. So under here, I'm going to pull out a variable. I'm going to change app to stored. Now notice that when I did that, this little slot left. So stored variables, you just give it a name and you do not initialize it. So I'm going to call this plant-based food count. So this is the number of times I've, I've eaten plant-based food instead of meat. I'll do uh, walked bike count. And I'll do another one, reusable bag. And what we're going to do is when the user uh, presses submit, we're going to check if the checkbox is checked. And if it is, we're going to increase this count. 
So we'll say if, and if we looked at plant-based food, uh, so this plant-based food value, that's the value, and it's a checkbox, so the value is either going to be true or false. So if it's true, that means it's checked, and that means they've done it, so I'm going to increment the variable. So we can choose this block here, change plant-based food count by one. And then let's do that for the other two. So change it to uh, walk bike and walk bike count and reusable bag, reusable bag. You do want to make sure that you match these up because then you'll, um, your app will not work. Now we can increment these, but we actually want to display them as well, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to display them on a second screen. Um, one thing before we do that, though, let's also, in addition to incrementing this, let's set the checkbox back to blank or unchecked. So if we go back up here, uh, we'll say set the value to false, which will uncheck it. So that would just be resetting it for the kind of the next use uh, and duplicate this will be this will back. okay so we're going to display this all <clears throat> all the counts on the second screen so i'm going to go to screen two and let's go to the design now in this one we're going to um, have several labels so i'll have a label for the title, a label for each of my uh, counts. And so I'm going to say number of times I had plant-based meal. And this one will be number of times I biked or walked. And this will be number of times I used a reusable bag. And then we also need to add the labels that will actually hold the counts. So let's put these in the middle. And I'm going to make these bigger. So let's do these 24. And I'll center them. And I'm going to leave it at 0 as a starter. OK, and I might change the color to red. All right, and let's do one for this one. And then the last thing we want to do is rename each of these. So the top one will be our plant-based count. This will be our walk by count. And this will be our reasonable bag. OK, so what's going to happen? We are going to come to screen two. And as it opens, we are going to uh, display those values. So we will say set this text to whatever the value of the variable is. And I did happen to um, name these the same, but this is a label and it's displaying the value of the variable. I don't have to name them the same thing, I just happen to do that. So we're going to set these to display them. Okay, I think we're ready to try this. So let's go back to screen one and let's go to the web preview. And I might say I did this and I did this and I hit submit. Oh, and this is the, the thing that I forgot to do is go to blocks. Uh, back to editing. I need to actually open up screen two. So at the bottom here, I'm going to go to screen two.
Alright, so let's try this again. And because I had already um, checked off these in the last time I tried running this, those should be 1 and 1. So let's check them both again, and that, those should both be 2 now, right? 2. Now notice this middle one is null. So that's what happens when you use store variables is you don't initialize them, so they actually have a null or empty value until you fill them with something. So we're going to fix that so that if, if the value is null, we'll put a 0. And I also forgot to put my header up here. So let's go back to editing. And let's uh, go to designer. Let's go to screen 2. And let's say um, my green statistics. Let's make this bigger, a little bit prettier. Uh, so let's do green. Maybe let's do for the whole screen. Let's set the background to a green color. OK, and so the other thing I mentioned is we have to go uh, and say if, and let's make this an if else. So if the value, I'll copy and paste this, if it's null, and we can find a null block down here in logic. So if it's null, we're going to set to, let's set it to 0. Else, we'll set it to the value of the variable. And let's duplicate this so we can do this for each of them. Uh, walk base count, walk by delete, set this, and we'll do a reusable bag, reusable bag. Okay, so let's uh, go back and run it again. In this case, I'll just do the reusable bag. So I think that'll be up to three. This would be two, and this should now show zero and a three. Two and a three. Okay, great. So that seems to be working. Excellent. So we've got a very basic app here that will keep track of these counts. So each time I run it, it will go to the mobile device, find the stored value, and then update the app accordingly. So this is a great way to keep personal data. So if you have an app that contains personal data, you can use these store variables. And probably just to make sure that middle one works, uh, let's check that off. Okay, so that works as well.